few days back i have created a video on personal portfolio tracker of currently invested values okay where you can see all these graphs and everything where you get the stocks information current versus invested market cap stock wise growth sector allocation and profit and loss and i have got some comments on giving us the dashboard for the sold also so for example this is only for the currently invested but what if i have sold some of the stocks and what is the profit and everything so they wanted to know about that also so what i have done is i have created a two new sheets one is the sold dashboard and one is sold stocks info so if i go to the sold stocks info what i have done is i have created this stock by date by quantity by price and it was there in the stocks info also but now we have this sell date sell quantity sell price invested amount till date okay so we have to fill this data from till here and this will be automatically calculated these all things will be automatically cal calculated and along with that we will also get what is the summary of the profit and loss every month this is required for the dashboard similarly i have also calculated what will be the profit if you have not invested in the stocks if you have invested in the nifty 50 to see how your portfolio is growing against the nifty 50 now coming to the dashboard the look and feel is almost the same where we are getting the portfolio value portfolio return portfolio total return and the portfolio xirr okay i have added this xirr because this will only get we will only get after selling the stocks okay now the stocks information is same as the previous one buy price and sold price now this is previously that was buy price and the current price now buy price versus sold price how like for what is the price you have buy, bought and what is the sold price similarly market cap is the same stock wise growth is same sector allocation is same profit and losses is also same three new things which i have added is the stock wise holding days like which stock has taken the most amount of time to get sold so for example so the clean science took the 196 days to get sold whereas reliance took 21 days and the sbi got three days when you sell that stock all this information will come here so that you will know that which stocks took the maximum time to get sold then we have this xirr portfolio versus nifty 50 what if you have not invested in this portfolio and you have invested in nifty 50 with the same amount okay same amount in the sense uh, okay uh, first if you have invested in this portfolio you will be getting 0.73 percent what if you have invested in nifty 50 we would have got 1.17 percent okay why am i saying the same amount so say for example you have this buy quantity 43 and buy price 800 which you have invested in sbi the same amount 800 into 43 invested value 34400 if you would have invested that 34400 on the nifty 50s on the buy date that is on that buy date the nifty 50 price was 276.89 okay and the sell similarly the sell you will be doing the same time when you have sold this sbi you would have done the sold on that price itself so the price would have been 278.37 so sold value on nifty bees will be this and the profit and loss of the nifty fee, nifty bees is this okay i am saying that instead of buying the stocks okay and selling the stocks lay like for example 10 days after 10 days if you would have bought the nifty 50 on that day and sold after 10 days okay you would not have accumulated you would have sold on that day what would have been the profit okay why we just wanted to know how your xir is against the xir of nifty 50 if you would have done the buy, bought and sold day on the same day okay similarly i have calculated this uh, this table is nothing but for the nifty 50 is bought and sold it at how much you would have gone uh, got the sum or profit every month okay and the next is the profit growth like how much your profit is growing only profit okay that means uh, say for example you would have got 500 rupees of profit and then you would have got loss so so your total profit and profit would have been minus thousand and then you would have got some profit so this graph will show if you are in profit that means you are above zero or you are in loss as of as of now so this is the enhancement which i have done in the personal portfolio tracker 
so the sheet is the same okay uh, i have not created any new sheet uh, previously we had this dashboard okay where we have limited set of uh, information and then we have the stocks info where you would have to have the stock uh, by date by quantity by price and now we have this uh, all the information now i have to move this hdfc bank from the currently invested to the sold etf so i have sold this hdfc bank so what i will be doing is i will be copying this stock okay go to the sold stocks info and then do the paste say for example i have sold this stock on 20th june okay and i have sold all the 10 okay and the sell price is say 1900 and the currently invested amount would be say 90000 okay so what will happen is it will calculate everything along with that it will calculate what will be the nifty b's price on the buy date and what will be the nifty b's price on the sell date and how much is the profit and loss on the nifty b's okay and everything will gets calculated and i can go to the sold dashboard to see if this has been updated or not okay so as you can see that hdfc bank has been updated where i have got the maximum profit on the hdfc bank similarly my portfolio uh, my profit growth has been increased because i have sold my most of the profit amount okay now i have to go to the stocks info and then remove this hdfc bank from here and then i can go to the currently invested currently invested one and then hdfc bank has been removed from here so this is how you can actually use both this dashboard to see how much you have been currently invested what is the dashboard of that and as well as so you can also see the personal portfolio tracker of the sold amount so out here you can see the portfolio xirr and everything and how your see now after i have sold the hdfc bank your xirr has gone to 2.66 percent whereas the nifty 50 xirr is 1.73 percent so that means your xirr or your portfolio is doing better than nifty 50 and the profit growth is also increasing so you can use this both the seats together to have the total control of your portfolio thanks for watching if you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more insights like this thank you